Story Time, First Tales for Sharing, told by Stella Blackstone and illustrated by Ann Wilson. The Ugly Duckling, this is a story about an ugly duckling in his adventures. One long, hot summer, a fine mother duck sat on her nest, waiting for her eggs to hatch. At last she heard a tap, tap, tapping sound, and all but one of her ducklings pecked their way out of their shells. But one egg was bigger than the others, and it did not hatch, so the mother duck continued to sit on it, waiting and hoping. A few days later, her patience was rewarded. Crack, crack, crack. The biggest egg broke open, but what a strange sight came out of it. This ducking was very big, and he was also very ugly. The mother duck waddled down to the water, with her ducklings and all of them, jumped in behind her, as they bobbed happily up and down, she had a good look at her offspring, she noticed that the ugly one paddled beautifully, and held his long neck high and straight, he may be big, she thought to herself, and he may be rather strange, looking, but he is certainly an excellent swimmer. It was soon time for the ducklings to be introduced to the rest of the farmyard, but when the family arrived, all of the other animals teased the big duckling. You look so weird, they sneered. Soon, the ugly duckling's life was miserable. The hens pecked him, the ducks snapped at him, and the girl who fed the poultry gave him a big kick every time she came to the farmyard. One day, the ugly duckling could bear it no longer. He woke up early and flew quietly away, across the meadows, to the tall reeds where the wild ducks made their home, perhaps they will be kinder to me, he thought, but the wild ducks were no better than the ones on the farm. What are you doing here? They demanded. You're not one of us, you big, scraggly creature. The ugly duckling flew on. After a while he came to a small, run-down cottage. Perhaps I can stay here for a while he thought, so he waddled up and pecked politely on the door. Inside the cottage lived an old woman, with her cat and her hen for company. She was quite pleased to find a duckling on her doorstep, even if he was rather an ugly one. Come in, come in, she said, I'll look after you, if you can give me some eggs. So the ugly duckling lived at the old woman's cottage, but he could not lay any eggs, of course, and before long the old woman started to resent him. So did the cat and the hen? You good for nothing, jeered the cat. I don't know why we bother with you. You're nothing to look at, and you can't even do anything useful, like catching mice or laying eggs. The ugly duckling felt more and more lonely. At the same time, he started to grow restless. He knew he did not want to live in a cottage. He wanted to be on the water. He wanted to be able to float on the waves and dive underneath them for food. So he left the cottage and flew far, far away to a beautiful lake. Fall came. The leaves turned red and gold, and the days were crisp and cold. One evening, just before sunset, the ugly duckling saw three beautiful swans floating on the lake, not far away from him. As he watched them, they stretched out their wings and rose gracefully out of the water. The ugly duckling cried out after them, and his cry was quite unlike any sound he had even made. He watched them longingly as they soared up into the evening sky, and something stirred deep inside him, something that he had never felt before. The lake was quiet now, and the ugly duckling grew colder and colder as winter approached. The water at the edge of the lake froze, then came a night where the entire surface froze solid. The ugly duckling lay exhausted on the ice. Luckily he was spotted by a local farmer, who picked him up and carried him back to his farmhouse. The farmer's wife laid the ugly duckling close to the kitchen fire, and soon the warmth revived him, but he was very frightened by the farmer's children. In fact, he was so scared that he flew into the milk pan and spilled it all. Then he knocked the butter churn over, and that knocked over the flour bin. Everyone shrieked with alarm, which frightened the ugly duckling even more. So he flew back out of the warm kitchen into the freezing cold. He grew thinner and thinner, and hungrier and hungrier. Then, just when he thought that he could not last much longer, a warm wind blew again, and the leaves started to open on the apple trees. Spring had returned.
One sunny morning, the ugly duckling saw three swans sailing by. He was sure they would be nasty to him, but he decided that he would rather be pecked by these magnificent creatures than by hens on ducks, so he swam shyly toward them. You can attack me if you like, he said, lowering his head. As he did so, he saw his reflection. He was not an ugly duckling anymore. He too was a swan. The three other swans paddled right up to him and made him welcome. On the shore of the lake, a group of children cried out, Look, a new swan has come, a new swan has come. As she stared with white eyes at the graceful birds, one little girl cried, Yes, and the new one is the most beautiful of them all, and so he was. Thank you for watching this video, please like and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to click on bell icon to get new video updates.